Hey, 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 it's me again. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, don't forget, subscribe to this channel. I put out videos once a week, giving you information about Charleston and surrounding area. And make sure you hit that notification bell so that when I drop a video, you will be notified that it's available for you to watch. And like and comment because I reply to all of my messages and I love hearing your thoughts about each video. Well, today I'm gonna to give you five mistakes buyers make when they are purchasing their new home. Stay tuned. Number one, no late payments. Pay all your bills on time. Now, I get it. Sometimes buyers are in a situation where they are doing a new construction and the house is gonna take four, six months, whatever, to actually be built and completed before you can close on a property. But in any case of purchasing a home, you do not want to have any late payments during this process. You wanna make sure you pay everything on time. When you get the approval from the lender, everything is verified by the underwriters. And sometimes the underwriters will check your credit after you have already been approved by your lender. So sometimes your credit is checked throughout the process maybe twice. So you do not want to have any late payments on your credit during this time. Make sure you pay everything on time because this will hinder your approval. Number two, tell the truth. So many times that I have buyers say, oh yeah, I make this amount, or yeah, I have this, or yeah, I have that, and when it's time for them to actually produce what is requested, they don't have it. Or they're not making what they say they are making and the information doesn't add up to what they said they have. So I would suggest that you always tell the truth. Let your lender know everything because they will find out. I have had sometimes buyers actually falsify documents it doesn't work they will find out so your check stubs is verified your taxes are verified by underwriting so you do not want this to come back to haunt you later on so make sure you give the correct information the truth when it comes to your income when it comes to you personally so that this doesn't come back around to haunt you later when it comes to purchasing your home. Number three, do not change jobs in the midst of you purchasing a home. You definitely want to talk to your lender if you are thinking about taking a new position or taking a new job somewhere else because this could hinder your approval. Even if you are making more money at the new position, you want to make sure that your lender is aware of this so that the, you are not in a compromising position to where you are no longer approved for your purchase. Sometimes you could be a, an, a W-2 employee and then now you're thinking you want to start your own business or go to a, a, a self-employed position. And with a self-employed position, you need two years of tax returns to even be approved for a mortgage. So you wanna make sure that if you are changing jobs, that you are still qualified for your purchase because it definitely could make a big difference in your approval, even if you are going to be getting more money. Number four, avoid large purchases. Please avoid large purchases. You're excited about purchasing your home. You want to get new furniture. You probably need a washer dryer maybe or a refrigerator if it didn't come with the purchase of the home. Well, let's do that after you have purchased the property. Now I know today a lot of these products are taking longer than usual because of back orders and things like that, but 
you don't want to risk purchasing something, especially if it's on credit, that would hinder your approval. Even if you're paying cash, it could hinder your approval because the lender is going to check, the underwriter is going to check your bank account statements, and if they see large purchases coming out of your account, that may hinder your approval. Now, if you make about $100,000 to $300,000 a year, and that may not affect the approval so much, but if you're making maybe 50, 30 to 50,000, and you're purchasing a thousand dollar item that may affect your approval so you want to make sure you do not do that just wait just wait until it closes because a lot of times if you purchase beforehand you have to schedule a delivery date and what if your closing is pushed back some and it's sitting in the warehouse and then the warehouse starts to charge you money for having that item stored there. So make sure you plan accordingly, but don't buy any, don't have any big purchases during this process because it could hinder your approval. Number five, don't make any large deposits to your bank account. Now I know this could sound weird. It's like my money, my bank account, but if you are getting a lump sum of money from somewhere, it needs to be documented and verified by the lender. So if a family member is giving you money uh, to say purchase this home, you wanna make sure you talk to your lender about that first. I wouldn't deposit any money into my account unless it's something that came from maybe a lawsuit or something that is um, maybe inherited. If it's being borrowed from someone else and you are depositing it into your bank account, you are going to have to explain that money. From a lender standpoint, if you are borrowing money from a family member, that means you don't have enough money and that could hinder your final approval as well. That throws up a red flag to the lender as to, hey, Maybe this person doesn't have enough money to actually close this deal. So be careful with depositing large amounts of money into your account. Well, I know I said five, but let me give you one more, maybe the most important one of all, is to don't do this alone. Hire a real estate agent to help you with your purchasing process. This market is so fast right now, things are ever changing, and you wanna make sure you have someone that is on your side to help you make this purchase. It's not an easy task, and it could be tedious, and it could be stressful, but you wanna make sure you have the right guidance and the right person behind you to help you every step of the way. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm Carmela Renee and I am a licensed South Carolina real estate agent born and raised right here in Charleston, South Carolina. And I love bringing you helpful tips and fun facts about my home state, South Carolina. So if you are interested in purchasing a home or investing in a home here in Charleston or selling a home, reach out to me. I'd love to have a conversation with you. Well, hey, like I said, don't forget, subscribe to this channel definitely hit that notification bell and like and comment because i respond to all of my messages well until next time thank you for watching